Right, good morning, welcome back. Now, another little job to knock off the Sportster, and today it will be this. That is the chain just touching the bracket that holds the shotgun pipes. It's a big L-shaped steel bracket. There's loads of meat on it. And because I've jacked the back of the bike up with these longer shocks, that's put the top run of the chain a little bit lower. And as it's lower, it's just touching that bracket. Should clear it by about six mil, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna take the bracket off and cut a relief of about six mil into it so the chain can pass by unimpeded. Now, once I've cut that steel out, there's plenty of meat in it, it can take that. It will then rust, so I've got to repaint it. So while I'm repainting it, I'll also repaint the chain guard as well, and then that will be ready to put the brass accents in, and that'll be a couple of jobs knocked off. Let's do it. Well, now thanks to the standards at Lowbrow Customs, this little bracket is gloriously over-engineered. It's cut from a big piece of quarter-inch steel plate. It's then folded on itself and brace-welded. That'd hold up the back end of a bagger exhaust with no problems at all. But all it's holding is these little lightweight headers that actually don't move even when the bracket's taken off. So I've got plenty of scope here to grind a little piece of that away with no loss of integrity whatsoever. So let's give it a little grind out, make a space for that chain to pass. Put it back in for a little test fit, make sure it's all clear, and then I can paint it and put it back on. Let's go.
Right, chain guard next. Now, I want to put brass accents inside these holes, and obviously you can't weld the brass to the steel, so I'm going to have to rivet them on. So as it's metal work before paint work, the next job is pre-drill the rivet holes in readiness, so when it's painted, I can make the brass accents, just pop them in, and then secure my nice custom chain guard to the bike. All done. Let's keep going. <laughs> Thank you. 